Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Chris Mikulazan, and today we're actually going to heat press 3G opaque onto a black shirt. Check it out. Okay guys, so here I have my design open in Adobe Illustrator again. So the difference between heat pressing light color shirts and dark color shirts is that you do not have to reverse image the dark color shirts. So from here we can print. So Command P for to print for Mac and Control P to print for PC. So just like before, we need to make sure that our design is inside the dotted lines. Okay, so then just hit print. Okay guys, so we're back. I just finished printing out the design on the 3G opaque. So now what I'm going to do is, like in the same other video, I'm going to cut around the white so this way I just have the design. Let's go. Okay, so now I'm going to start cutting around the design. Okay, let me discard this. And I'm just gonna come back and get the rest of it, um, really get in there. Okay guys, so I finished cutting up everything for the, um, for this design. Now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna start the heat press. Before we heat press it, because the reason why we don't have to mirror this onto the, um, t-shirt is because this is a, um, this heat transfer is a cool peel. I Meaning I got, all I gotta do is peel this up and then I can just place it on the garment and heat press it from there. So got so, so now that I peeled off the um the backing, now I can just heat press this onto the um garment. Okay guys, so just like with the other one, I'm just going to press this real quick for five seconds just to get rid of any wrinkles and moisture out. Sometimes I could even like to use a, a lint roller just to get any lint that's actually on it. And I'm just going to press that for five seconds. Okay. And I'm just going to grab my transfer paper. Now I'm just gonna grab my design and place it down where I want it. Okay, like right there. Good. And with this one, the Jet uh, 3G opaque is at um 30 seconds for 350 degrees. And I, I, the pressure is usually between medium to hard pressure, just to make sure it's really um, adhered onto the garment. Okay, take this off now. This over here, and there you have it. Okay, guys. So we finished heat pressing three G opaque on to a black t-shirt so i really um really like the way how this came out so i want to show you so this is the jet pro soft stretch one that we did and this is the 3g opaque so we could do both um both dark and white colors both dark and light colors so yeah see you in my next video